Hi everybody, welcome back to Shelf Start Stitches. I hope you are all okay and have had a good week. Um, I had a second week off work, which was lovely. It's been lovely to have two full weeks off work, like 16 days, so very chilled. Not looking forward to going back Monday, but yeah, it's been very nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you've all had a good week and had lovely weather, because it has been pretty, pretty decent. I'm looking at my garden um, for Easter. So I have um, some goodies to show you today. Um, so I had an arrival um, yesterday, delivery yesterday. I was expecting another one. I thought I might have got it yesterday or today, but I haven't. So it looks like that's got held up and coming next week. Um, but I will show you um, what arrived yesterday. So this is um, Siobhan's order I did on Sunday. But I didn't need, but I did it. Anywho, so my my box there has arrived. It's quite a small box, you see. It's not that big. Not too many goodies. Um, so let's open it up. Ooh, glittery. Yes, I did get another glittery project bag. Oopsie. So um, Javon had a few um, back on the website on Sunday in the update, and she also had a couple of. Uh, new versions so I went for hold that up all the neons so again it's the sort of glittery silvery I'd say it's like a silvery holographic yes that's the word with all the neons my skein of yarn on the front and again it's exactly the same as last time I showed you it's zip inside with a little flappy pocket in the back um, to fit all my stash in so yeah, we got one of those. I think that was eight pounds or eight pound fifty. So yeah, really reasonable and decent quality bag, especially with the zip as well. It stops everything falling out. Nothing worse than if you're transporting it around and then every time you pick it up, everything falls out. Get that out of the way. Um, because I purchased over 25 pounds worth of items, I did get a little freebie um, egg which I haven't opened yet, so we'll do that in a sec. So it's got, by the looks of it, a couple of stitch markers, and I think this is a 10 gram skein, mini skein. And the egg's quite nice, it's like a, I don't know what you would call that. I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean? It's like, you can see the little triangular pattern shape on there. Can't think of the word. Anywho, all DK yarn, and I've got three skeins to show you. So firstly, I may have bought this at Unravel, I'm not sure. I saw this in Siobhan's update video and I circled, screen grabbed it and circled it and said to her, what one's this? Um, I'd have to check my stash upstairs. I possibly have, but um, regardless, I love it. So this one is called Sweet Kiss. You can see that. So pinks and blues and purples in there, all sort of pastel colours. I could go back and watch my Unravel haul video, couldn't I, to see if I've got it. So yeah, Sweet Kiss on that one um, in DK. Excuse me, we just had a bunny run past. Uh, the next one I've got um, in DK, excuse me, is Blossom. It's a really nice one. So it's predominantly pastel pink. Um, and then you've got some, I would say, very light mint green here um, with some neon uh, yellowy green and pink speckles. You can see that. The light holds it and shows it up. So that's that one. And then we also got this one, which is not a normal colourway I'd probably go for, because um, green is not normally my colour. Um, but this is called In the Grass. Um, so this is predominantly green, with some um, lots of different sort of confetti speckles. So it's got some undyed here as well, um, just lots and lots of speckles in between. So I really like that one. It's a really nice, really nice colourway. Again, we don't know what we're going to use them for just yet, but it's all good. We add it to the stash. Um, right, so let's have a look and let's open this one together. I don't know if it's a twist or a pull. And I don't know if it's sellotaped. It's sellotaped. That'll be why I can't get into it. Let's find the tape and see if we can get that off. Ah, there we go. I found the edge of the sellotape. There we go. Hello, bunny. It's down at my feet. He's in and out of the garden. Well, the weather's nice. Uh, right, let's put that down so we don't lose that. 
gonna hold under here. There we go, stitch markers. So let's have a look at those first. Ah, uh, this is good for me with it being Easter. Let's try and hold these up so you can see both of these. So we have a little Easter bunny and a little carrot. Well, they're really cute. I'm gonna stop them from wobbling around, see if it'll focus on them and not me. I don't think it will. There you go. A bunny and a carrot. Perfect for me. Being a bunny mummy, we'll probably keep those out and add them to keyring. They're cool. And then this is our 10 gram skein, which is a really nice pastel -y. All sorts of pastel. Like that. Very nice. I'm gonna try and get that back into the egg. I don't think it'll work. Let's try. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. There we go. Lovely. So thank you, Siobhan, for the extra little freebie. That was very nice of you. Um, and yeah, so that was my Siobhan's order that came yesterday. Um, so what I will show you also is if you were uh, saw my videos last week um, on Easter Sunday, I decided to do some hand dyeing. Um, I had a couple of blank um, hanks of um, undyed left. Um, and as the weather was nice, I thought I'd give it a go. So I did do a sort of video as to how I dyed them. Um, it's basically I bought a Siobhan's kit a while ago um, and I've watched a couple of videos of people as well as to how how they do it etc um, and it's trial and error so this isn't necessarily the way to do it um, it's just how I've picked up so far um, but I thought I would show you the dried skeins because I sort of showed you them hanging up on the washing line uh, drip drying they had to go in the airing cupboard in the end to finish off drying so we had a 100 gram skein and we had a 50 gram. So I will show you the 50 gram first. So here I've twisted this. This is my 50 gram skein. So we've got the pinks. So I can't remember the name. So I know one was blue jay, one was turquoise. Bubblegum pink, I think this was. Um, and then this was supposed to be black speckled at the end, but it didn't quite go to plan. I mean, you can see some of it is speckledy. Um, but I am pleased with how black the black came out because I tried this before and it came out like a wishy-washy grey blue. Um, so it's quite handy to know how strong therefore I need to do it to get the actual black black um, colourway. Um, but yeah, I didn't think too bad. I haven't caked it so we don't know what it'll look like worked up. Um, but yeah bit speckledy in places which is what we were aiming for speckledy blues so that was the 50 gram that we've done um, and now we've got the 100 gram which I'm quite pleased with so here we go so we've got this was the electric purple um, some of it's sort of undyed but very very pastely pink but you can see sort of the pastely pink here it's a little bit like the toft peony we're gonna have a visitor hello He's, he will pop up in a second. There you go. Hello, Jeff. Um, then we've got um, neon yellow. Yes, lemon. Yeah, it's not neon lemon. It's neon yellow. Um, into tennis ball green there. Um, so we've left some undyed sections and we have just sort of done it as a, a bit of a gradient type yarn. I don't know if I actually missed that. So it is very, very pastely pink. As you can see there, um, so I've got a rabbit going along the top of the sofa. Very, very pastely pink. Um, but yeah, so those were our two hand hand dyed skeins, fifty gram and hundred gram. So I'm quite pleased with those. Hello, are you pleased with them, Jeff? Yeah, you approve. He approves. So we'll see what they're like when they're caked up. Um, but yeah. So I definitely recommend, I think Siobhan's kits are £33. I think you get two 50 gram blanks, um, you get your citric acid, your colour sheet card, instructions, pair of gloves, teaspoon. I think, yeah, five colours, I think. Um, and I think you can either pick, it's not pick and mix type. I know she's doing that at one of the shows this weekend because obviously she's got everything there for you. But um, I think you normally pick either like the neon ones or a different it's one group of five or a different group of five. But then you can top up with um, extra colours from her because they're only £3.50 a tub. 
and I'm nowhere near using all of my tubs. Um, I did have to buy some more citric acid um, and I bought some other coloured dyes from a different website just because Siobhan didn't have the, the sort of colours I was after. Um, I think that was from a place called Colour Crafter, but I bought big bags of citric acid. Um, I'm not sure if it's something you can buy in your supermarket. I really don't know. Um, I've seen some people with like massive, massive bags. Um, but I got, I think it was a kilo um, to top me up because I boil the wool in the citric acid. So I kind of wanted enough to sort of, I think it sort of sets it and fixes the colour. Um, so yeah, give it a go for £33. You just have to, obviously, it is dye, so be very, very careful. I was in really old clothes, like they're my painting clothes, as I call them, or my housework clothes. It don't matter if they get bleach or anything on them. Um, I have a very light grey carpet in the living room. So my kitchen is over that side, my garden is over that side. Um, so to transport things across, um, yeah is you, you, you don't want to drip anything anywhere, especially for me with a light grey carpet, because if I drip it, I'm dyeing the carpet. Um, so that's why I set mine up out in the garden on, um, a, you know, an old shower curtain, do most of it, what I can out there um, to stop any sort of transferring of colour. So obviously if you want, want to give it a go, just be mindful of where you set yourself up um, in case of spillages or anything like that. Um, so just be a bit careful, but it's good fun. You know, if you're obviously crafty because you're watching this video and you like sort of trying your own thing out, it's definitely worth a go because, you know, that's where all these, these hand dyes started. Um, and it's just a bit of fun really to see what yours will come out like. I think that you can get these skeins, Siobhan does, I think, I think they're eight pounds for a 50 gram or maybe six. I can't remember. The hundred grams I did get off Wool, Wool Warehouse. Um, they do have undyned skeins on there. Um, I think this was £9 or £10 for a 100 gram skein. Um, so yeah, obviously it's more expensive than just going and picking up your bog standard colour style craft 100 gram ball. Um, but you're paying for undyed so that you can then have a play about yourself. And if you get good at it, getting the colours you want. If you suddenly think, oh, I want this sort of colour way to do something, you can dye it yourself. So. Um, I mean, you can obviously just dye them all one colour. So if you wanted like a really, really hot pink and you couldn't find it anywhere and you've got the dye, you could obviously just do that. So you just dye them all in one colour. Um, they don't have to be multitude of colours and, you know, gradienty or speckled or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll um, link Siobhan's dot hand dye kits because I definitely recommend those as a starting point because that's where I started and it's got everything you need to give it a go. So for £33, if you try it and you're like, mm, not for me, you've got a couple of hand dyed skeins and you've not lost anything. Um, but yeah, I quite enjoy it. I like the option of being able to do it when the weather's, you know, England, when the weather's nice. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you this week. Um, so I just thought it'd be nice for you to see those. Um, I'm going to try and do some more hand dyeing at some point, but um, I'll have to wait and purchase some more blanks um, to keep in my stash upstairs. Um, I might try, I quite like the 50 gram small ones, so I might try getting a few more of those rather than 100 gram. Or actually, to be fair, I could get 100 gram and I could just swift it into 250 grams, couldn't I really? Silly Michelle. <laughs> you can buy them, obviously, I think, ready, ready done in 50 grams. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the yarn dyeing video. It was a bit all over the shop and I forget to film landscape not portrait um but yeah i had good fun and hope you did too watching it short video um as always thank you for watching have a good week and i will see you again hopefully next week take care bye